Narcissists always lose in the end. The reason why you feel hurt or bothered after dealing with a narcissist is because you think you could have done something different or something more. You think that it was because of something you did or didn't do. And that is exactly what they'd like you to think. Because then it takes the heat off of them. And then they can relax. But what you need to understand is that what happened between you and them was not an isolated incident. They've had many failed relationships before you. And they're going to have many more failed relationships after you're gone. But you couldn't see it at the time. Because they were constantly blaming you. They were saying that you were the problem. But if you were a fly on the wall in the other situations in their lives, if you could take a look at their interactions with other people in their past, and you heard other people's stories and what other people have to say about them, especially people who they no longer talk to, you would have a very different perspective of them. Because although you may have opened up to them and told them everything that went on in your life, they never told you anything. You didn't know anything about them because they have a lot to hide. They have a lot of things that they don't want you to know, which is why they always try to put the focus on you. They try to blame you for everything because otherwise it would open Pandora's box. It would generate many complicated problems for them which is why they have to hide behind a mask so that you don't see who they really are. But what they've been doing to you is exactly what they've been doing to other people before you. That's why they're so good at it. Because they've had a lot of practice They've had plenty of time to perfect their manipulation, which is why it will seem like they're masters of their craft. Because they've already used it on many other people before you. They've love-bombed other people and then they've devalued and discarded them. But once it happens to you and you move on, you don't know where they go after you're gone. You don't know what they're doing or who they're with. Especially if you moved on and you're happy then they don't want to hear from you. Because if they do, it will only irritate them because you're in a better position than they are. So they will keep out of sight. They will avoid detection and attention. They will go into hiding because they've got to recover from their injuries and hurt feelings. They've got to get back their strength after their defeat because they messed up again. Everything they touch falls apart. It always goes wrong in the end. And they're very self-conscious. So they get embarrassed. They don't want you to see their omission of expected or required action because they want you to think that everything's fine. That's why they put up these posts in social media and you see their four smiles as though they're happy without you because that's what they want you to think but that's not how it pans out for them in reality because they're stuck in an endless pattern of behaviour and it's inflexible so they can't change or adapt which is why time will reveal everything because if you checked back in with them after a few months and saw the other relationships or situations that they are in you would see the exact same thing you went through. That's how they're so good at it. Because they've done it before. The length of the relationship just depends on how much you're willing to tolerate. 
which is why they will eventually deliberately stay out of contact with you on their own. And yet, many of you will wonder why they're not hoovering you. But if you're doing better and you're happier without them, that is the last thing they're going to do. Because they don't want to give you the satisfaction of having to watch you be better than them. It's an unpleasant fact and situation that they don't want to accept. So they will stay low. They will be quiet. And they won't seem very forceful, emotional or noticeable so that they don't draw too much attention to themselves. Because they already know that they made a big mistake to where they can't get you back. They know they've done things that may be a deal breaker to you, things that may be important to you. So they know they can't come back. They know you're not going to take them seriously after that. So they will disappear. You won't hear from them. Because the possibility of them winning you over and competing for their faults is hardly anything. They know that they have no chance of doing that. Especially when you already know what they're about. When you already know what to expect from them. So their only choice is to leave you alone. And it should help you to focus on things that should be more important. Because it confirms something to you. It validates everything that you experienced with them. When you see what they're doing after you're gone. And what is going on with them. Because they end up in a worse situation than what they had with you. So of course they're not going to come back. After they've already taken a fall. After they've made a loss. That's embarrassing for them. They don't have the same bold self-assurance of style and manner as you do. They're very insecure. Because they're not as attractive, pleasing, interesting or enjoyable as they were before. And they're aware of that. So now all they can do is accept something unpleasant and difficult. And they just have to keep out of sight. They have to go into hiding because that's all they can do. But just know that you weren't the only one. It wasn't their first rodeo. They've done the same thing with other people before you. And they're going to do it again after you're gone. They're constantly failing. And they tend to end up in a worse situation after leaving you. They always downgrade. Because they're on a path of self-destruction. They behave recklessly and impulsively. They're always acting on their unstable emotions. So there's no telling where they might end up next. But it's going to be a worse situation than what they had with you. They get worse with age. Narcissists always lose in the end. It's not just something that happened with you. That wasn't an isolated incident. If you could be a fly on the wall. If you could see how they are or how they've been with other people before you. It would all make sense to you. You would see how they could treat you in that way. Because they've had years of practice of perfecting their craft of manipulation. They've done this to many people before you. Whether it's co-workers or their family or friends. Which is why if you observe their situation later down the line. You will see that they're doing the same thing to someone else. 
and now someone else is experiencing a loss someone else is going through the exact same thing that you went through so it wasn't just you and when you realize that you will be able to see outside of your own perspective because some of them end up drinking excessive amounts of alcohol or doing drugs some of them end up getting married or having children and then that goes wrong as well until they become physically weak they can't deal with things anymore they've got no fight left in them so they're quick to backtrack or withdraw they're quick to give up on the very things that should be most important to them because by that point they've learned to not value anything in life since everything seems to fall apart because in the end they just end up harming themselves and if you're still around them then you will get caught up in that thank you for watching If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash darksurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's not to five with the crew UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.